very comfortable, rides really nicely on me, doesn't move around a ton. This is from VanQuest. This is a fantastic all-around bag. Today I'd like to do a product review of the VanQuest Katara 16 backpack. This backpack came out earlier this year. All right guys, so I'm checking out this Katara V-Slinger from VanQuest. It is an ambidextrous sling pack. Now this is a smaller pack. It's kind of like I would say an urban day pack. That gives me the ability to carry it kind of in that messenger style over my shoulder. I get easy access to my gear. So it's a nice size for a grab and go bag to just keep the essentials. Some people want to know what shoulder should they carry it on. Lots of factors to consider with that. I don't think there's a one like right answer. So what I brought on my hike today is the Pylum V-Slinger bag or pack. Take a look at the all new uh, VanQuest Pylum V-Slinger. I think it is a pretty good upgrade to the Javelin. And this is their Maximizer Organizers. Lots of different stuff that, that goes into this. This is from VanQuest. They've got lots of different size pouches. This is one of their personal pocket maximizers. And this is called the FTIM. That's the Fast Totally Integrated Maximizer. As we get into this FTIM Gen 2 Organizer, there is just a ton of stuff in here. This is the VanQuest 7x10 Fat Pack. So this is the largest one in the series. Today we're gonna talk about this, which is a med kit I built into the new 7x10 Fat Pack from VanQuest. If messenger bags are your thing, then the Envoy 13 and 17 are probably right up your alley. So this one is the Envoy 3.0. The 3.0, I'm buying this one. So it is, again, stainless steel. It is painted. You have the logo. That's gonna do it for this video featuring the VanQuest color coding kit. VanQuest Preppers color coding kit. Okay, these are the articulated padded dividers. So you have these different sections so you can set them up in a lot of different ways. I recently got this new product from VanQuest called these Mole Air panels. So all right guys, that's all I have for now. Little EDC update using my VanQuest Falconer 27. Today I'd like to do a product review of the highly anticipated VanQuest Falconer 27 backpack. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video review on the VanQuest Ibex 30 backpack. Tim here from the Tactical Defender. Today we're gonna to look at the Ibex 35 from VanQuest. Now in today's video, I'm sitting here with the VanQuest Mark 45. At 45 liters, this is their largest pack to date. We're gonna be taking a look at the Mark 45, which is the largest pack that VanQuest makes. Today we're gonna to be showcasing a backpack for you, and it is the VanQuest Mark 45. I got a great new pack from VanQuest, appropriately named the Sky Cap. You know, that is kind of the mantra of VanQuest. I mean, tough built gear, they absolutely got that right. This is their larger version, the big brother to the Trident 20, the Trident 31, so it's 10 liters larger. I've really had a chance to see all that this Trident 32 now has to offer. I think it has a lot of capability. But this is a great adventure bag, and this is a great bag for me when I'm headed out into the woods. Thank you guys so much for coming over here today and checking out the channel. Make sure you share this video to anybody who might be interested. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. All right, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. This is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you so much. So again, leave your comments below in the comment section and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Be well, stay safe. I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then. Hey there everybody, welcome to another episode of Getting It's Tactical. Today we are checking out the VanQuest Tough Built Gear Envoy Messenger Bag. A lot of the nylon that is used in these bags are made here in America. It has YKK zippers from Japan, they use other parts from other countries, so it's kind of like a, a mixture of the world. This is amazing gear. These VanQuest bags are awesome, and I would highly recommend them, so enjoy this review. If you're looking for something that's gonna hold a ton of stuff for you, last a lifetime, this is definitely something you want to look at. Then if you want to go ahead and get into your pack, I love this feature, they have a little handle. You can swing your pack around like that. This ability to then unzip the main compartment and I can get into all my gear. They're a newer company to the market. They've been around for a few years now and are making some great quality, tough, 
use gear, packs, backpacking, military, tactical, law enforcement, EMT, all that type of stuff. They got some really good designs and really good quality items from everything we've tested in the past and from what I'm testing here. The VanQuest Tough Built Gear. I just love the company. They're just an awesome group of guys. They really care about the customer. They really care about being innovative. They don't just want to crank out product, have you buy a bunch of crap. The VanQuest Tough Built Gear. You know, it fits my body type, which is 6'2", about 210 pounds, very well. And I'm a pretty big guy at 6'2", about 215, 220. Heavy duty quality, VanQuest is now known for. They're known in the industry for making great innovation, but also at great quality. You're getting a great bang for buck when you add up the design, the materials, and the comfortability. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another innovation from VanQuest. Innovative features when it comes to organizers. We are looking at the FTIM. Now that stands for basically taking a normal organizer that you've seen from Maxpedition, but then they've taken that to the next level. This has so much organizational capability, so I really like the layout of the organizer and how they thought that through. And I definitely dig it and I like what I'm seeing as always with the innovations that come out of VanQuest. So, well, VanQuest has been designing this style of kind of a shoulder sling design for a few years now. And what I love about the company is that they're always going back to the drawing board, trying to re-innovate and redesign gear. They are always working on adding new things and making the systems and their bags and their designs better, which I love about the company. The Tolcat Gym. Gen 2 and the Mobius Gen 2. Now it was really, really hard for me to try and nitpick anything on these bags. Well, what are the two major things that make these kind of stand out from the crowd? One is the ambidextrous feature. The second great positive is just the layout. They always do a great job with the layout. The VanQuest Tough Built Gear. I just love the company. They're just an awesome group of guys. They really care about the customer. They really care about being innovative. They don't just want to crank out product, have you buy a bunch of crap. The VanQuest Tough Built Gear. You know, it fits my body type, which is 6'2", about 210 pounds, very well. And I'm a pretty big guy at 6'2", about 215, 220. Well, folks, welcome to a down and dirty video. What really has begun to really sink in for me is that for the first time in my knowledge of testing out packs, I have been able to carry a more compact, heavy duty built, you know, assault style pack for long periods of time fully loaded. VanQuest is known for making bomb proof stuff. It's gonna be a thousand denier and then on certain other parts, it's gonna be 500 denier. I love that, I've been asking for that for years and I love that about VanQuest in general is that they hear from the customer and then they respond with their new designs, which I totally love. VanQuest has blown it out of the park and I would put this on par with any of the best backpacking style backpacks I own and they've done a fantastic job VanQuest has definitely produced four layer backpack. An awesome carry on travel bag, go bag or get home bag, EDC everyday carry bag, or your bomb proof day pack, or possibly pressed into even one or two days backpacking pack, overnight pack, and obviously VanQuest.com. And I'm a bigger guy, 6'2", 215 pounds. Uh, I'm 6'2", 215. I have large size hands, I wear large size gloves. <laughs> I'm checking out this Katara V-Slinger from VanQuest. I'm definitely growing sort of fond of them. Now this pack is 1000D. It does have the YKK zips and a Teflon coating on it, so it is gonna be semi-water resistant. They give you a lot of options for modularity there. Real comfortable handle, I do like that. It is cross-stitched and double-stitched. It's very durable with the 1000D Cordura. It does have a fair amount of modular ability or options to it. This VanQuest Trident 20. It's definitely an awesome bag for a more urban environment and it's definitely very capable of carrying around a laptop or a tablet and other things that you might do more of in an urban environment. The shoulder straps are air mesh and it is air mesh down the back so it is very comfortable. It's sort of a combo between a backpack and a messenger pack making it great for urban carry. Some other packs you can definitely feel uh, when you have things in that back compartment and they press against your back but not the case with the Trident 20. And I think they make very efficient and very good use of a front pocket. This is one of the best front pocket layouts that I've ever seen on a pack. 
Everything is top notch as far as materials go. Another nice feature is that it has a grab handle right here and it just provides another option for grabbing the pack. You can grab it here. There's also a grab handle on the sling and then of course there's the grab handle on the top. Both exceptional packs so really what it comes down to is whether or not you want the sling or a backpack style pack but either one is going to give you a great pack with great features and last you quite a while. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the multi-cam van quest. So if that's your thing, it doesn't get better than this pack. And they really put a lot into this pack. The durability is definitely there with the 1000D Cordura, YKK Zip. Everything on the pack is sewn really nicely. That's pretty much what to expect from VanQuest. And this actually is going to be my new EDC. I think this pack is the most organized I've ever seen a pack. I think packs like this that have mega organization are great as kit bags for people like EMT, law enforcement, search and rescue, things like that. Now this pack is perfect for a person who likes to be seriously organized. This one has VanQuest great shoulder straps. I find these very comfortable. Very high quality number 10, I believe, uh, YKK zip. They're about the best pack you can get for that type of use. And as you can see, when you have it swung around in front of you, it's very level. And when you're carrying it on your back, it's also very very straight up and down, something that's sort of hard to find on other sling packs. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the multi-cam van quest. So if that's your thing, it doesn't get better than this pack, and they really put a lot into this pack. The durability is definitely there with the 1000D Cordura, YKK zips. Everything on the pack is sewn really nicely. That's pretty much what to expect from VanQuest. And this actually is gonna be my new EDC. Hey everyone, it's Ben, and today we're gonna to take a look at an awesome new pack from VanQuest. We can take a look at how it rides on the body. It is quite comfortable with the newly designed shoulder straps. The shoulder straps have a nice contour. The air mesh, you can see, wraps around your neck. Very comfortable to wear, very secure to wear. Very functional pack, larger in size than the Trident 20. Some thought that that may have been a little bit small, so not only with the larger size, but all the improvements that they've done, this particular pack is a great multi-purpose pack. It can fit a bunch of different roles, whether that be your electronic equipment it has all the padding and things for laptops and cameras but also for everyday carry gear or even turning it into a survival kit or even a bug out bag big blades folders and toothbrush yep that ought about do it this is the Skycap 46, something a little bit different. VanQuest has always had a lot of padding in their packs, making them really good for travel. This particular pack appropriately named the Skycap because it is just that, built for travel with padding, but in more of a traditional carry-on or duffel bag style to it. You can go ahead and you can stow these shoulder straps, get rid of those, your hip belt, you can do the same thing, and it becomes just a, pretty much a standard duffel bag. Love to hear what you guys think. If you haven't already done so, click that red subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos. If you had a real quick glimpse, you might think to yourself, wow, those two bags look pretty much the same. I mean, they're close in looks, but that's about where it all ends. On the left, we have the Maxpedition Sitka, and on the right, the VanQuest Javelin 2.0. We've developed an excellent product here. Beautifully made, well thought through, wonderful features, and if this is an indication of what direction you're going on into the future, I'm extremely excited. On the VanQuest, the very first thing you notice when you open it up is its bright orange. Nice high-vis material that allows you to see the contents of your bag pretty easily. Compare that against the Sitka and not so much. Now, the VanQuest I know is Cordura. I don't believe the Maxpedition is Cordura. It's quite clear to see that there's a lot of thought and detail that went into the VanQuest. We have a very similar sleeve as to on the Sitka, but that's pretty much where it stops. Here we have a lot more refined subdivided pockets capable of holding smaller gear. 
In today's video, I cover why I believe the VanQuest Falconer 27 is the ideal, if not ultimate, EDC backpack solution. Almost everything in this bag is readily available, and that to me was a real good reason why this particular bag worked out very nicely. So VanQuest does have a very nice wolf gray color, and this orange accents off of that very nicely. I do very much enjoy this high vis that VanQuest uses. I think it's an excellent touch. It's perfect for an EDC bag and the ability to really see what contents you have in the bag. I think these features present themselves extremely well if you want to use a bag like this for an EDC option. And so I really hope and encourage VanQuest to continue using some of these similar design features in their future bags. Get this VanQuest Marcore 45 to some action today. Initial impression of the bag is good. Nice and firm and sturdy on my back. It's carrying well. My actual weigh-in uh, with everything came in at 46.8 pounds, so pretty good load here. But overall, initial impression is good it's very comfortable and even with this weight it's carrying very well it's not moving around and I can tell already I'm going to enjoy this bag a lot this bag to me has so many different potential options moving forward into the future it's worth taking a real deep comprehensive look at this bag fully understanding it understanding VanQuest mentality what direction they're moving in and what this could potentially do for a large number of customers this bag is kind of crossing between different genres, whether it's tactical, hunting, backpacking, anything that has outdoor speaking about it, this bag can pretty much do it. I very much like this bag. It has great thought, overall organization. It's something that I have enjoyed just using it. It actually is better than most of the other luggage that I have in terms of the overall comfort carrying it, the portability, the packability. I fit a ton of stuff in here. And overall, I love the VanQuest products and the durability and quality that you get with the VanQuest name. Now for the past two months, I have been carrying this VanQuest Trident 32. This is the Gen 3 model. So if you know anything about VanQuest, VanQuest essentially takes one of their bags, does a whole bunch of research, takes a whole bunch of feedback from all of their customers and reviewers like myself. They go back to the drawing board and make little tweaks based on the feedback they've received. And that's exactly what you have here today with this Gen 3 Trident 32. Now getting into the contents of this 6x9 FTIM Gen 2 pack. Again, in this beautiful red Cordura nylon, they take a product that's really in the works and then they continue to improve it. So you will see on a lot of their products, Gen 1, Gen 2, and even Gen 3 in some cases. So they are always looking to advance their products, take feedback from customers, and they will make the improvements to their gear. You've developed an excellent product here. Beautifully made, well thought through, wonderful features, and if this is an indication of what direction you're going on into the future, I'm extremely excited. So the most important thing with a kit like this is the ability for everything to fit nicely together. My ability to really put some of the most common used things on the outside flap, and that's what you get with these FTIM organizers. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon. Hey everybody, it's Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're taking a look at this pack from VanQuest. I'm telling you, as soon as I put this bag on from VanQuest, the first thing I said is, wow. Just sits really comfortably on you. If you're looking to get a nice EDC bag, a sling pack, this is one I would definitely recommend. VanQuest makes very good gear. They've got a variety of different styles of bags. They have a wide variety of tactical bags, tactical gear, and just nicely made items that are unique and they offer different features than maybe some of the other tactical items you see out there. So definitely check them out. Again, VanQuest.com. Great bag, great quality as always with VanQuest gear. The really cool thing about this, you know, as is always the case with VanQuest gear, just good stitching. They don't have, they don't cut any corners on that. Gonna bring you a little bit more, but that's the deal when you, uh, when you want a good product. I've always liked their gear, but I mean, just take a look at how innovative that is and the different designs they have, the way they've thought things through. VanQuest is a company I am really proud to work with here on Everyday Tactical Vids.
Uh, one other thing I'll say is that if you haven't ever held uh, VanQuest gear or used gear from VanQuest, I will tell you, it's just high quality. They're not going for something that you're gonna pick up in your local sporting goods store, and you really experience the quality as you use the pack more and more. Everything is really well thought out, so I really appreciate that about their gear. They're going for somebody who really wants to invest some money in their gear and get a quality product, and you're going to do that if you get a hold of some gear from Vanquist. And these guys are continuing to come out with new ideas, new features, and new things, so you always want to be checking back to see what Vanquist is doing. They're always innovating, and I like that a lot about them. 3.0 means that this is the third version, which tells you that A, it was popular enough that they've gone up to three versions, and B, it also tells you that they're always trying to upgrade and improve their product, so they want to make the customers happy. I have used version one, two, and three of their sling bags, and I've liked them all. Again, I've said this a lot of times about Vanquest, they're a very thoughtful company, and not like, oh, you're a nice person, thoughtful, but they think about their products, they design it uh, with some significant intent, not just saying, let's just throw something together because we can market it. You can see right here, they do have Quadora, so high quality fabric, as you would expect from Vanquist gear. My experience with Vanquest across the board is that they just make good quality gear good quality stitching in between each section. It's not just a single line of stitching, it's quadruple or at least triple stitch it looks like. If you are a photographer, I would definitely encourage you to check out this bag. If you're gonna do an overnight, this could be a good bag for you. An adventure pack, a camera pack, a day hike pack, absolutely. Bottom line for me when it comes to this bag, I would say day hiking, extended day hiking, definitely overnights, camping, camera gear. I mean, it's just a one size fits all backpack. Very happy with VanQuest overall. This is probably in like my top three favorite bags at this point. Again, having used this for a variety of different purposes, quite comfortable to carry even when it's fully loaded up. This is their fourth generation of messenger bag of the Envoy and it's a great bag. I mean, it is really, really a solid bag. This one is a winner. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you'll know I really like Vanquest stuff. Good investment, they're very, very thoughtful and they're always trying to tweak and change things a little bit here and there to give the user the highest level of quality and functionality. And when I talk to those guys, they're like, yeah, we take feedback from people very seriously. We hear their thoughts, we see what we can adjust and they make changes. That's why there's multiple generations of different types of gear from them. Basically, a lot of people have used their organizational pouches to build med kits, and so they finally said, hey, let's put it in red, because a lot of people want that for medical purposes. All right, so let me talk through some of the features of this. First off, your material, 1000D Cordura, YKK zippers. I mean, like all their other gear, it's gonna be really nicely made, so high grade material. So again, high quality materials, like I said, like 20 times already, high quality gear. It's not gonna rip or, or tear on you. All right, if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you're gonna know I really like VanQuest gear. They're one of the first companies I ever worked with, I mean, a long, long time ago. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Bureau as well. More videos coming soon. Take care. Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be doing a video review on the VanQuest Ibex 30 backpack. The only way to do that is to wear it, put some miles in with uh, some weight in the pack. So far the pack's feeling really good. Everything about the Ibex so far is working out. Well, I'm just coming up on the three mile mark. And to me, that's a pretty good benchmark at where we're at in regards to how this pack's going to feel. And so far I'm liking it. It's riding really well. This pack ergonomically fit really good anatomically to my spine. My shoulders feel good. My neck feels really good. I would say that's a win for VanQuest and the IVIX 30 backpack. Coming up on the minute and a half mark right now. The paper's dry. That thousand denier Cordura treated with some good stuff. And look, it just beads right off there. The Molly and Pals attachments and the way that they made it as a bucket pack that you can customize it to fit your needs. The company isn't dictating how it's compartmentalized and then you have to work within those confines and the constraints of that. It's nice that a company is forward thinking where whether you're a hunter, a fisherman, a tactical operator, whether you want a bug out bag or get out of town bag, whatever you want to call it, you're able to customize this pack to fit your specific needs. That's a check in the plus column for VanQuest. It's been a pleasure testing this piece of gear for VanQuest. They just did a really great job. VanQuest does not pay me to say this stuff. And I don't just throw out ratings just to throw out ratings. Folks, I'm gonna give this rating of this fat pack a five. If there was a six rating, I'd give it a six. This is John with the Wingman 115 channel. A 
thank you so much for checking in today. With the Falconeer 27, it was based off of some of the best attributes of the Triton 20 and the Ibex 30 backpacks. They combined all of their best features and focused it in on this one backpack. Now, you're gonna recognize this from my Ibex 30 review. Pretty much the same layout almost as the Ibex 30. If I'm putting together a bug out bag or urban survival kit, if I'm a first responder, or if I just wanna outfit a first aid kit, this would be an awesome bag to do that. If I'm a law enforcement officer, I could easily outfit a kit that way. Hunter, fisherman, backpacker, you see where I'm going with this, the list goes on and on. Normally I rate stuff on a scale of one to five, one meaning that it's a dumper, it's gonna to go to the boneyard, five, it's a grand slam, we hit the ball out of the park. I have to give it a five. It's been a pleasure testing this piece of gear for VanQuest. They just did a really great job. VanQuest does not pay me to say this stuff. And I don't just throw out ratings just to throw out ratings. Folks, I'm gonna give this rating of this fat pack a five. If there was a six rating, I'd give it a six. I'm just a big fan of the design. Based on the fat pack design, everything deploys fast. It's right there at your fingertips. You don't have to dig for a lot of stuff. I like the high vids nylon, the thousand denier Cordura. You know what's gonna last. There's been other YouTubers out there that have done video reviews on VanQuest stuff with Thousand Denier Cordura. They've done a fire test. They've done a wire brush test for abrasion. I did a review and I just doused it with water. So that Teflon coating makes it highly water resistant. And I love to test gear that is functional, that is made out of quality materials, and that they have an attention to detail when they put something together. And that it's gonna be of value. Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. The bag I'm going to be showcasing today is the Falconeer 30. I might even try to do an overnighter with this. Hey, what's that? What do you got in that? I could attach my tent, my tarp, a lot of cool things. You could set this up as a medical kit, as a school kit, as a work kit. Just, you're only limited by your imagination. There's just a lot of cool features to this pack. They do a great job over at VanQuest. We're out in the backwoods playground. You don't get any better than this. We need to talk about the fit. The ability of this backpack for the shoulder harness to adjust up and down to fit your needs is pretty outstanding. Got the harness dialed in to where I want it. This pack has been doing a phenomenal job. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care folks. I'm not gonna be giving a rating on this pack and you're going, what, John, you're not gonna give a rating? Vanquest has been working on this one for a while now. It's made for guys like us and gals that like to have our prepping supplies, survival gear, tactical things, and just have it all in one backpack. This would be a great small bug out bag. It takes all the elements of the cool Vanquest products that we've seen over the past and combined it into a single backpack that contains all of them. This version of the backpack is in the black color. Everything on this is very discreet. Nothing's really uh, jumping out there that this is a total uh, tactical backpack. Today I'd like to do a product review on an awesome backpack made by Vanquest. So I've been EDCing this for the past two months now and just been really enjoying it. I've been in modular heaven. Uh, the attention to detail of all here on this backpack. There we go, not bad. All right, I thought for sure that I'd get one of those bricks to jump out of there, but it seemed to hold this place pretty well. This is the fifth and final part of my five-part EDC Organizer Throwdown video series featuring the Maxpedition EDC Pocket Organizer versus the VanQuest EDC Maximizer Organizer. So from a design standpoint, we found that the VanQuest had a, a better design overall for the EDC Organizers. And just overall, it seemed like the VanQuest handled that drag test a lot better. So as we saw, the VanQuest EDC Maximizer Organizer did a better job of organizing various gear. It was more efficient in the storage due to the varied and staggered stitching inside of these webbins here. You also had some additional storage locations as well. And in general, you were just able to stuff more things inside of there. Uh, but if you're in the market for an EDC organizer and you're trying to decide which one to go with, I'd probably recommend going with the fan list. 
A lot of you know that I'm a big fan of color organization for my prepping gear based on category. So a few years back, I made a video called The Color of Prepping. And in that video, I conducted a survey with you, the YouTube audience. I was contacted by the folks at VanQuest. Great guys. They were all on the phone. The folks at VanQuest said, Cliff, we really like this idea. We'd like to standardize it for our VanQuest product line for the labeling of various organizers. But they said, Cliff, we kind of like to have your blessing on this one. I gave them my blessing. I mean, I just like uh, the collaborative effort here on YouTube on sharing ideas. And this is called the Prepper's Color Coding Kit. I don't have any hot girls to jump on this trampoline, so I'm gonna have to do it for you guys. It's a winning formula for uh, superheroes, Captain Planet, uh, the Power Rangers, Voltron, they all combine forces, and VanQuest kind of went with the same philosophy with this. Very low profile, sexy cut of Molly at the Sexy Molly. The VanQuest Fast Totally Integrated Maximizer, or the FTIM, maybe you could also call it the FTIM. I'm not exactly sure. VanQuest really challenges you to you know, kind of think of new ways of possibly storing your items inside of it. Keep in mind I'm fairly tall between 6'4", 6'5", depending on the time of the day. It has a hidden CCW compartment, which is pretty cool. Which you could have your concealed carry weapon of choice in there. If you're familiar with my channel, I've done a few different reviews on VanQuest products. They make high quality gear. I really, really like them. If you're in the market for an EC organizer and you're trying to decide which one to go with, I would probably recommend going with the VanQuest. This is the VanQuest Trident 31 backpack. It's been great seeing how VanQuest is always trying to improve the quality of their products. They don't just remain stagnant with one particular design and just leave it for a couple years. With the 31, you can see that they've made significant improvements. So it's just great that a company is actually listening to customer feedback and constantly trying to raise their own bar. Previously, the Trident 20 backpack was best used for a compact EDC backpack or go bag. Due to the increased size, the Trident 31 backpack could still be used for both of those things in addition to a few other options. I don't have any hot girls to jump on this trampoline, so I'm gonna have to do it for you guys. It's a winning formula for uh, superheroes, Captain Planet, uh, the Power Rangers, Voltron, they all combine forces, and VanQuest kind of went with the same philosophy with this. Very low profile, sexy cut of Molly at the Sexy Molly. The VanQuest Fast Totally Integrated Maximizer, or the FTIM, maybe you could also call it the FTIM. I'm not exactly sure. VanQuest really challenges you to you know, kind of think of new ways of possibly storing your items inside of it. Keep in mind I'm fairly tall between 6'4", 6'5", depending on the time of the day. It has a hidden CCW compartment, which is pretty cool. Which you could have your concealed carry weapon of choice in there. Yeah, if you're familiar with my channel, I've done a few different reviews on VanQuest products. They make high quality gear. I really, really like them. A lot of VanQuest's gear has evolved over time and they're always trying to improve their sling bags and backpacks. But the main feature of this bag is the dual backpack straps that can be converted to a single shoulder carry sling bag, which is really nice. It's not only a backpack, but it also can be converted to a sling bag. Due to the high standards that we've come to expect now from VanQuest, I expect this backpack to last more than 10 years without any signs of wear or tear. It's super high quality and built to last. See you guys. This is the EDC Maximizer Organizer. I put this little red tab, little red Velcro on top of the very nice, strong, industrial strength grab handle. 1,000 denier core door. The real stuff, good quality. Very nice industrial strength zipper tracks that are inverted. Backside, we have some pals webbing. We do have a very nice, uh, you know, the industrial strength thread, the sewing. Great pouch, really good quality. I like this company a lot. We do have, I do like grab handles. We do have a grab handle on the back. These are both great bags. The Max Edition is slightly more expensive than the VanQuest. The materials and I think thought put into the VanQuest pretty much exceed and outdo the Max Edition. Great pouch, it really is fantastic quality. A new pop, get this today. All right, now we're gonna look at this pouch. I'll take this everywhere I go. That's the video. That's the video. That's the video. Utilizing their high visibility soft fleece lining. You can put hot, you can put cold. According to VanQuest, is a 35 liter pack. Okay. VanQuest, I believe, went all out. They literally thought of everything they could. They improved every part of this bag and literally made it perfect. It's that good. We're literally. In my opinion, they can't do anything better. I don't know. I know they are amazing people there at VanQuest. They're going to probably come up with something that's just going to blow my mind again. So again, this is the Pylum, P 
P-I-L-U-M, Pilum. It is from VanQuest. It is a sling bag, as you can tell. And I mean, everything is right there, right where you need it. You open up the zippers and you pop. Get this today. All right, now we're gonna look at this pouch. I'll take this everywhere I go. That's the video, that's the video, that's the video. Utilizing their high visibility soft fleece lining. You can put hot and put cold. According to VanQuest, is a 35 liter pack, okay? First aid kit, camera equipment. I mean, you name it, everything is right here. Especially if you're a photographer. Can you hike with it? Absolutely. Is it good for a camera bag? Yes. Is it good for EDC? Absolutely. Again, grab handles. I love grab handles. VanQuest isn't up at the top of that list. They're actually in a class all their own. They really are in a class all their own. It is hard to compare their packs with a similar pack because the features are just so different. Not a little bit, I mean very, very different. It's such a great, if you're thinking about getting this pack, get it. You're not gonna be disappointed. Today I have from VanQuest the Ibex 20. Great bag. This makes a fantastic bag. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have pockets on the side, a nice generous pocket on the top. As I've already mentioned, the grab handle, I absolutely love this grab handle. Here's the other grab handle. You do have one on each side. How are you doing, everybody? Extremely well made, as is all VanQuest gear. And this bag literally has everything you need and nothing you don't. It really is a beautiful pack. Uh, you know the people that create it and design it actually use it. You know I'm a sucker for grab handles. Thank you for watching this video. Be well, stay safe. We'll talk soon. Bye. So here's the pack. Let's go through this pack, what it has, compartment by compartment. The one thing you might notice right off the bat is the orange liner. It makes it really easy when you're digging in this bag. So there you go. Overall, I think they're a top-notch company. The stuff that they're making is outstanding. The materials that they make it out of is outstanding. And I'm very happy with mine. I will probably purchase more VanQuest stuff. Now right off the bat, I know some of you are going to say, well, it looks like such and such and so and so. But they are different. I'm going to explain how they're different. They're not set up the same way. They're made of USA-made Cordura material. The zippers are purposefully stitched in reverse. So your teeth are not exposed out where they can get messed up and screwed up. They're actually on the inside of the zipper. Uh, if I didn't already say it, VanQuest.com, if you want to see the details on these, definitely look on that website. Because I ended up buying all, like this stuff is great. It's like, I don't need it, but yes I do. Yes I do need it. Everything that they've put out that I've ever reviewed has been rock solid. They're built just a little bit better than competitors. They're pricey, but this is one of those things where you get what you pay for. I just chugged half a bottle of Dayquil so I could shoot this video and see semi-coherent. They don't spend a lot of money on advertising. Hopefully they will start utilizing YouTube more because yeah, let's face it, YouTube works. Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I pull these out of the package. I'm like, oh, what the heck are these? The heck are these? What the heck are these? I didn't really understand it. So I pulled it out and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna figure out what these things are. Uh, these are actually pretty freaking cool. Different slots in here. So this is gonna accommodate a lot of different types of bags, uh, pouches, knife sheaths, whatever. There it is. Pretty smart idea. So everything that they've put out that I've ever reviewed has been rock solid. They're built just a little bit better than competitors. Now they're pricey, but this is one of those things where you get what you pay for. I just chugged half a bottle of Dayquil so I could shoot this video and seem semi-coherent. They don't spend a lot of money on advertising. Hopefully they will start 
utilizing YouTube more because let's face it, YouTube works. As far as it goes for me, this item is the newest Jessica List item. The 3.0, I'm buying this one. FanQuest, US materials, the good stuff. Yeah, it's made of all great stuff. I've got a bag from FanQuest. You all know I'm a big fan of FanQuest. And you can buy these left hand or right hand models. Cordura, 1000 Denier, it's a nice design, it's just the right size. Now my video is probably gonna be a little bit different from the other ones that you've seen so far. Do I like the pack? Yeah, I like the pack. Pretty much like everything VanQuest makes. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this pack. It's a very nice looking pack. It's a little bit bigger than the previous model of the Falconer 27. Got some improvements here, there, everywhere. So it's really, really good for organizing a whole bunch of stuff. Very, very well thought out, complex organizational backpack. It's gonna last a long, 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 long time because VanQuest stuff always does. I have made no bones about the fact that I am a big fan of VanQuest products. This is the Trident 31. And why I was so excited about this one is because it answered what I wanted from the first Trident, and that is to be a little bit bigger. So not only is this one a little bit bigger, but it's got all their updated features. I really like this bag a lot. It's really cool how they did this. It's very civilian-ish if civilian-ish is a word. But what is special about this one is the way the strap configurations work. What this pack does is it can convert from a straight backpack to more of a V-slinger, single strap backpack. Everything that they've put out that I've ever reviewed has been rock solid. They're built just a little bit better than competitors. Now they're pricey, but this is one of those things where you get what you pay for. I just chugged half a bottle of Dayquil so I could shoot this video and seem semi-coherent. They don't spend a lot of money on advertising. Hopefully they will start utilizing YouTube more because let's face it, YouTube works. I've been wanting something like this for a good long time. Tactical backpacks and hiking backpacks are like two completely separate things. VanQuest uses the best materials, so I mean, that's what they're known for, is just making stuff that is just bomb-proof. Very tough, very rugged, you're not gonna wear it out, it's not gonna fall apart. But I wanted something that was more along the lines of a backpacking style backpack. So they basically have mixed the, the best of both worlds here, with a backpacking style backpack with tactical style features. What we're looking at here is the Trident 21 Gen 3, but I can definitely tell that this one is different. Who doesn't like stuff? You like stuff. You know how I know you you like stuff? Because you're watching this video. All right, guys, Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then. Shot Show 2015. I'm here at the VanQuest booth with Alex. Hello, my name is Alex. I'm the operations manager for VanQuest Tough Build Gear. Today, I'm going to introduce James, who's our director of R&D. He's going to go over some of our new products. This year's theme is going to be Urban Colbert. Let's start with the uh, Skitch 15 messenger bag. This year, we're going to be coming out with our Skitch 15, and this is a larger, more of a bike messenger style messenger bag. We also have the new Katara V-Slinger. It's a ambidextrous V-Slinger that you can adjust for left or right shoulder carry. This bag, what's still working on it? and uh, what now we just call it Project M. This bag is going to be a double shoulder 27 liter backpack. It's going to be full manacle compatible. On second layer, CCW compatible. On third layer, it's going to be kind of like our uh, IPEX 30. This bag, you can expect it to be released within the next few months. For now, we just call it Project M. Of course, as Chris knows, we have the IPEX 30. Full open style backpack, which you're all familiar with. Blades open so that you can customize it how you like as a medical pack, a survival pack, or two or three day pack, or for uh, communications as well. Next item I'd like to go over is the Racket 36, 36 inch rifle case so that it allows you to be discreet in urban environments. Discreet rifle case designed to carry carbines and short barrel rifles and PDWs. And the Envoy, you can have the drop it organizer go on the inside. We also have a new product uh, coming out this year. This is the V Speed M4 magazine pouch. 
designed so they can carry two 30 round magazines. Hey guys, I'm over here at the Van Quest booth and I'm talking with James over here. He was recommending the Trident 20. I've seen it with prepared by 101. This year, we have redesigned all the top selling products from messenger bags to our Trident backpacks and Envoy and also the Polkad Mobius new packers. But this year, the major changes we made is these bags, they are in detectors. And this one is the Trident 20 backpack. This one has been our number one selling item for two, three years. And we decided to give it like a facelift. <laughs> And these two are the Javelin uh, 3.0 and this one is the Envoy 3.0. Again, we replaced the Molly webbing with uh, more air, which is kind of like a loop velcro lined uh, cutout slot. This one is how the GT Cobra uh, sting strap looks like. It's very, very well padded. And this is the made in the US ITW GT Cobra buckle. Uh, polymer buckle, but the pencil frame is more than 500 pounds. Very, very doable, very lightweight as well. And these three are the new fat pack medical pouches. So the major changes are that we kind of modify the handle a little bit so it's easier to grab and open. All right, so there's the full rundown of new gear from uh, from Vanquest. James has been awesome. I got tons of information from him. Vanquest is very thoughtful. They're always trying to think about how they can improve their gear. So definitely check them out. Vanquest.com, right? That's the website. Vanquest.com. Hi, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel coming at you from SHOT Show 2016. I'm at the Vanquest booth with Alex. Yes, I'm Alex and I'm the operations manager and co-founder of Vanquest Gear. So that's what I love about Vanquest. It's those little attention to detail elements that they're putting inside their products that I feel is raising the bar in changing the game in a lot of the uh, packs and uh, fat packs that you yeah. guys are putting out there. Absolutely. That's, that's the plan. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Javelin 3.0, third generation of our Javelin sling pack. Hey guys, Ben from Living Survival. I'm here at SHOT Show 2017 with Alex, Michael, and James from VanQuest. We're live out here, folks. Hi, Tim. How are you? Good, thanks. My name is James. I'm with uh, VanQuest. Uh, this year, we're introducing a few larger size backpacks. And this year, we're going to make our bag even more over. So we're using more of the laser cut moly. I'm with Michael. We're going to be talking about the Falconeer 30. I'm running the original 27. The major improvement, as indicated by the name itself, is that it's now 30 liters. Hi, this is Michael with Vanquist Gear. I'm part of the research and development department and also handle our sales here. And I'd like to go through our new Falconer 30 Gen 2 bag. Zipper pulls. We just made these guys. These are our Spartan zipper pulls. Uh, they will be on all of our bags, replacing the standard paracord zipper pulls. Hi, this is Michael, R&D with Vanquist Gear here at the 2017 SHOT Show. And we want to show you a new product. This is the Hydro Water Bottle Holder. I have one more thing to show you while you're here. First half is going to be a secret. Second half is going to be crazy obvious. That glowing mass in there is our new bone and dark patches. So we have your medical patches. Every single blood type is available, two colors. Uh, for 2017, we released a few uh, new backpacks. Let's start with the Trident 31. The original Trident was released in 2014. Last year, we updated to a 21 liter Trident Gen 2. And due to popular demand, uh, lots of people, they want something that's slightly bigger. So this is what we have. Uh, it's a Trident 31, it's a 31 liter backpack. We are gonna make these guys, 32 ounce, uh, double vacuum wall insulated stainless steel. So the company colors, unofficial, wolf gray and orange. Yeah, I'm at the VanQuest booth because y'all know I like VanQuest. And this year, we're very excited to introduce a line of brand new backpacks, anywhere from a 45 liter to a 16 liter backpack. So quite a wide range of products over here. These two are called the uh, Ibex 35 and 26. The 35 and 26 are the second generation Ibexes. This is the Katara 16. We had the Katara since, uh, I would say, 2014 as a sling pack. But this year, we decided to make the bag slightly larger and make it into a double shoulder backpack. Hi, this is Michael with Vanquist here, one of the designers here. And today, we're going to go over the Lacour 45. This is a 45 liter, new for this year, 2018. For this bag, really is something that's up to you what you want to do with it. It's kind of the all-purpose platform. Today, here at SHOT Show 2018, we're going to go over the new Skycap 46. Travel duffel backpack. Got a roll? Nice. 
Everything's good. Doing good? Yeah. Nice. Good. Yeah, no, we always get swamps. Yeah. Lots of return customers. That's what's cool. The thing that we really like to do is we want to kind of combine the best of tactical with the best of outdoor gear. The customer input, the feedback, all of that goes into our research and development. So we, we take all that feedback when it comes time to revise an existing model for like version 2.0 or version 3.0. So we're going to be here in a few years and you're going to say this is the version 8.0. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's the, the 21 with the new padded dividers in here. So this is the Trident 32. This would be the Gen 3 version of this backpack. And we are very proud to say that, like seriously, man, it's gotta be 70 something, 80% of the feedback of the changes are requests from users. So that's the, the, uh, the Trident 32. That's a Gen 3 version of the Trident backpack. And this will be, uh, just as the last generation, a great seller and really just a good platform.